YouTube. We're going to make a box to put our lathe motor controller in. This center's up close enough. You see a little bit of the, you notice the holes are that way. And this is off an old stereo. I actually made videos on it, scrapping a stereo. So I'll have a piece of tin for the side, and whatever for the other side. And we're going to cover it with a piece of plexiglass out of our generic Dremel rotary accessory toolkit. This is a new one. If I can't find the old one, I'll just put some cardboard over here. I forgot I had this. I've been using junky little parts. And, oh, go over on the shelf on the other bench. Heck, I forgot I had that. Look at all the goodies left in there. He's about 15 bucks, but use that for the front cover. Uh, we don't know where we're going to put the slide switch yet. Uh, maybe off on the side. Then I just reach on the side because I want this standing up on the bench. We've already had a few shavings floating around. You wouldn't want that getting in here and sorting out. I've had it covered with cardboard, just getting everything going, but. There'll be more pictures than talking on this one. Don't want to be a long, rambling how-to video. Well, I'll just take pictures of the components, and you'll get the idea. I'll add a few little uh, video clips in here as I do this. Okay, I'll add this in. Here was the back of the stereo. So that gives me one side, uh, wherever it went. And I'll tape off all the holes I don't need. No one will see the side. You'll be viewing it from the front. And we'll take it something for this side. And about covers that so far. This will be chopped off. And slid down. So this will be moved down here. We're just going to take our thin cutter blades and we'll just go real slow, make a line. We may even use the Dremel. Uh, Dremel cutter disc. We're just going to cut this and slide it down. Even if the holes overlap a little bit, it's all figured out. We're just going to overlap it. We're not going to chop out a section. We're just going to cut it and slide it down. So I'll have pictures of that. Okay, the finished product. I just have this frame electrical taped on the front with a little bit of hot glue in case I ever have to get into it. I do have an emergency switch over here. You wouldn't want to shut that off and turn it off with that much voltage going in the motor because it would... I tried it with just a small amount of voltage. It doesn't like that. It wants you to turn the control down and slowly bring it up. A good emergency shut off. There's a circuit breaker. There's the line going to the motor. On off switch, your power cord, which I like those sockets. And we'll turn it on here once. I got the slide control over here on the side. That way I can see the light, LED lights come on. I don't know if you can see it on camera. And that top one just come on. Okay. That's with the safety switch off. Watch the top light come on as the motor kicks in. There you go. In case of emergency, I can just hit that real quick. Like I said, I wouldn't want to start that much voltage going to the motor and burn something up. I didn't really build this for looks, it's just old plastic picture frame. I needed something to put all this into so it wouldn't be contaminated. But there you go, I'll include a couple more pictures. Thanks for watching this little project.